applause. <laughs> Thank you, Bahre. Sure. Welcome back to World Drum Club, everybody. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher here with my colleague Bahre Moktadai, Iranian percussionist, music therapist, and dear friend. Um, I, I'm so happy you're here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and you know, one of the goals is just to support all everyone out there interested in drumming and percussion. Mm -hmm. And so we did a, a longer video that was introducing the tombak and talked about the woods and the skin and everything. Now we want to share a little bit uh, in an educational way so you um, can kind of get a feel for, for what a, a tombak player is doing when he or she is playing the drum. So you're going to show maybe, there were so many techniques just now. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like, we, you know, let's just start off with the super basic. Where, where would sure. you start teaching? Uh, usually we start with a very basic one. Uh, it's called tom, which is the bass sound mm -hmm. uh, of, of the, the tom back. And uh, it's not really hard to play. Uh, the position of your hand, though, uh, although it's very important, just imagine that like you're holding, a, you're scooping, you're holding water. Mm -hmm. You want to like wash your hand, your face, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's the position. Mm -hmm. So if you keep that and twist it, right? And uh, make sure that your thumb is, uh, you can slightly touch your first line of point finger. Okay. Okay, you don't have to like squeeze it. You just need to just slightly touch it. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly, that's how you do it. Okay. And uh, you will have to feel this part of your palm by the, uh, on the edge of the tone back. Okay. So, and, uh, uh, when you hit the drum, you have to feel the tips, your fingertips, mm. okay? So this is how you do it. You have to bounce it. When Once, once you hit it, you don't have to... Mm -hmm. uh, 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 you're not pressing or staying. You're not, yes, you're not pressing it. Yeah. You have to just bounce it, mm -hmm. okay? okay? And as you can see, there is a slightly move of your arm. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit of your wrist mm -hmm. and your hand, mm. but we're not exaggerating, uh -huh. yeah. you know, because uh, once you play it uh, in a big, big move, um, when you want to like uh, play fast right. rhythms, yeah. then you're going to be in trouble. Right. All right. So really s small movements. So technically I'm only uh, touching the fingertips and slightly touching this part of my palm. Mm -hmm. So the palm part is more for reference point, right? Exactly. You're not like, because sometimes you're people... You're supporting your your palm. Uh-huh, supporting it. You're supporting it. Yeah. But it's not like you're hitting the edge and then your fingers are whipping no, down no. or something. Okay, yeah. The focus is your, your uh, tip fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the focus. And uh, as you can see, sometimes my thumb is free, mm -hmm. so I don't have to even touch the first line of my point finger. Mm -hmm. What does the, what effect does the thumb touching or not touching have? Is it a feeling? Is it a sound? It's is the it, sound. The sound. It's okay. the sound. So if you don't touch it, uh -huh. you have a more broad sound, mm. like it's wide, mm -hmm. right? Uh huh. If I touch it. Oh, okay, yeah, big difference. Big difference. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so it adds maybe some rigidity. Yes. And so it, you can control that a little more. Exactly, right? yeah. yeah. Interesting. So that's uh, that's the first uh, basic movement. The second one, so this is called tom, mm -hmm. T-O-M, mm -hmm. T-O-M, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, the second uh, technique is called kenar. 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 If I want to translate it to English, it means... Edge. Okay. Okay. Um, which it makes sense because uh, you have to hit the edge of the tone back. And it's only with your ring finger. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a part where you uh, have to feel when you hit the drum. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, or even your tips, more close to your tips. Okay. Okay. So, um, 
So instead of uh, striking, hitting with all the fingers, it's only the ring finger. This one also, you have to bounce it. Mm. So this one also, it's a little bit uh, hand movement. And you're kind of, you're slightly twisting your wrist. Yeah, I can see that from this angle, you're, yes. you're ro rotating. Rotating. It. Yeah. And it has to sound sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, although we, we do have a different kinds of canars, mm -hmm. like where we hit the different part of the, the right. uh, head mm -hmm. of the drum, but this is the original uh -huh. canar. Number, play. the first one. The first one. People learn, yeah. Yes. So it's not like you're not, you don't have to. You don't have right. to play it like that. Yes. It's not straighting. It's not like robots. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. You have to be very flexible. It, it seems yeah. like you're dancing and you're f free. Mm -hmm. in, you know, movement. So. I can see where you you have to play this instrument in a relaxed way because yes. you're playing so many little things in exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. If you're tense, it's just gonna compound and you'll burn out really quick. And people quick. usually ask me, oh my god, like your fingers won't get hurt, you know, while you're, it's not. If you know mm. how to play it right, it doesn't have to be hurt. Mm -hmm. That's that's the key. And you don't need to uh, play it hard. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the good thing about uh, playing the tone back is that you will find your, your fingers so much strength mm. and it's going to be very powerful. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, you don't need to have muscles here. No, it's all fingers. Mm, okay. okay, yeah. So that's the first two movements. So tom. Tom and canar. canar. And when, if you want to practice, uh, you can simply, first you can, you know, uh, play a few toms just to make sure that you will have a decent sound and it's all equal. Let's say one, two, one, two, like we can play it in two, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can uh, uh, practice it with metronome just in case you can um, follow the uh, same beat. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can start pl practicing just playing a few canars. And this one also makes sure that all the canars you're playing sounds the same. Mm. This is very, very important. So it's not like one with a lower uh, sound, mm -hmm. the other one with a sharper sound. Mm -hmm. So it's not like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, all of it has to be equal. And the reason is that uh, when you combine it with your left hand, mm -hmm. uh, it sounds better. Mm -hmm. It sounds nicer mm -hmm. to have uh, this uh, to play it with the same tune. Right. Okay. And that's the thing with any drum sounds. Everybody knows these individual sounds are like the notes of the scale in a way mm -hmm. for for drums. And if you play a rhythm, right, it has an identity, and all those. It's like a s syllables in speech. You can't mm -hmm. just be changing them all the time. Yeah. It has to be clear. So, yeah, thank you for reminding us all about that. It's sure. important. So you talked about the left hand. How about one? One, uh, yeah, one, uh, one uh, main uh, techniques from, and this is the, for some people, it's probably the hardest one, but it's, uh, it's snapping, mm -hmm. but with your ring finger. Okay? So... Um, and uh, probably on the, the first solo, you've seen a lot of mm -hmm. rolling and snappings with all the ten fingers. Mm. That's very, you know, you know it's, it's yeah. advanced. Uh, but the main one is, uh, this is, like so you rest your hand on the top of the drum. Mm -hmm. And this is a position. Uh, you have to find the place where you want to rest your hand. Mm -hmm. doesn't have to be forward and doesn't have to be backward. It mm -hmm. has to be somewhere where, where you hit it, you still hit the, the edge, mm -hmm. okay? And you'll see it has to be 
you just loose it up, mm -hmm. don't squeeze it, and uh, this is how you play. It's called palang. 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 Yes. Wow. So this one also, I bounce it, you see? Mm-hmm. Right, you're not sticking on the head. I'm not sticking on the head. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, in a little bit more advanced, there are snappings with all other four fingers. But the main one is with the ring finger. Okay. So the reason uh, I said that all the sounds has to be equal is one of the rollings, mm -hmm. it's a popular rollings we are using for tone back, is called riz palang, means mm. rolling palangs. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. like rolling with, so it's, it's the combination of kenar and palang. Mm -hmm. So if you focus that the sounds mm. and the volume of the kenar and the palang is equal, mm -hmm. then you're in the right track. Mm. So that, even though it seems simple, <laughs> that's years and years of practice <laughs> and performance. Yeah, but yes, that's... Yes, um, and, yeah. and you can, uh, for this one also, you can, uh, you can combine all the three uh, techniques, mm -hmm. one by one, like maybe we can say in the three, four, mm -hmm. like waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, And you can speed up, or you can alternate, you can change, you know, which uh, technique, which uh, movement you want to mm. first hit. Like, you can start off with palang first, and then tom, and then kenar. Mm -hmm. So... You can change it. Mm -hmm. And you can gradually speed it up. some accents one two three one two three one two three here we go something like that yeah <laughs> nice that's a great place to start and how about if we finish with just uh, one typical rhythm, traditional rhythm? Okay. You know, we, we were talking earlier, you were mentioning about, you know, how, where the, where the tombak uh, is traditionally played. Or, yes. I mean, you mentioned soloing and performance, but how, you know, maybe, maybe you can share with us something that would be kind of traditional or talk about the setting, the, 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 the occasion. The occasions, uh, I mean, it, it's, uh, it will be played in different kind of occasions. Uh, uh, parties, you know, weddings, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's a very kind of serious instrument. Classical. You know? Very mm -hmm. classical mm -hmm. and traditional. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as I mentioned before, we can play it with, in small ensembles mm -hmm. or even like big orchestras. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, so what would be one example of a traditional like classical setting and maybe, you know, the application, the, the, the music, what would the music be? What would it sound like? Well, I have to play in, the song. <laughs> in terms of, so yeah, I know I'm putting you on the spot. In I have to play like a recorded song uh, so that, and accompany with it. Yeah. That's, that could be maybe. What about like a folk music? Is there, is there folk music? Is it, uh, yes, there folk music, um, uh, classical music. Mm -hmm. Um, is there an example of, uh, so, I mean, I don't want to, I kind of want to do, put you on the spot here a little bit, but is there like a simple song that you would accompany yourself, singing and playing? You want me to sing and play? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to, yeah, I mean, I can do that. Uh, I'm just trying to think about a song. Anything from, yeah, folk music, childhood, or little celebrations, or things you do at a party, or anything like that? Sure. Let's think about it. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> 
while she's thinking about it, you guys, <laughs> make sure you're supporting uh, World Drum Club, you know, over at patreon.com slash Kalani. And um, also, like we did on the first video, I'm going to leave some links below so you can connect with Bahare um, on her website. And, you know, she has Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. So if you're interested in more um, about her music, and she has some recordings, lots of recordings, um, original music, uh, compositions, accompanying other people, playing with different ensembles, all that stuff. So we'll, we'll leave some links down below in the comments. Um, as well as a link to help support this channel. All right, so to close, we're going to enjoy a little bit of music. This is a folk song, and um, tell us what it's about. Uh, it's an old, very popular uh, song, a love song, uh, about uh, someone who uh, will do anything to have her lover back. And uh, it's, it's probably, I think, it, it's happening during like springtime. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a love song. Uh, it's old and very popular. And uh, uh, and the rhythm is? It's 6-8. Okay, great. All right. Okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank let's, you. Let's do this, sure. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. Wow. I want to know more. <laughs> so thank you, Bahare. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And, and like I said, we'll leave some links below where you can learn more about Bahare's work. And as always, I want to thank everybody for joining us. Support us at patreon.com slash Kalani. Um, and yeah, thanks again. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. See you. <laughs>